What's going on, everybody? My name is Justin LaPlante. You join me today here in my awesome humidor that we have here in our Lima, Ohio store. It's my favorite part of the store to come in, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about the General Cigar Company Incorporated. They're part of a much larger group that owns them called the Scandinavian Tobacco Company, but mainly I wanted to talk about the General because I have a lot of guys and gals that come in my humidor and they're looking at me like, where are your Cubans at? Or where are your Cuban-esque cigars at? And this is the section that I bring them to every time religiously. Drew Estate and a couple other brands, they do make Cuban-esque cigars, but over here with the general, you're talking names like Cohiba Red Dot, which we'll touch on this stick here in a little bit in this video. Um, but you have brands behind me like La Gloria, you have Cohiba, you have Macanudo, CAO, um, Punch, just all these different brands that if the cigar guys know what they're talking about and gals, they'll know those names based off the whole Cuban embargo acts and things like that. Um, the General Cigar Company was actually able to acquire the trademark for Cohiba Red Dot in about 1981. And that was huge for them because you have, like I said, there's a lot of customers that are really looking in the United States for where can I get that Cuban quality? And this brand, they bring so many different things to the table under their umbrella with all these different little sub brands. Um, their main base of operations here in the United States is gonna be in Richmond, Virginia, but they have factories all over the planet. We're talking Honduras, Dominican Republic, Nicaragua. Um, they even actually own and operate what they call Club Macanudo in New York City, which is an awesome, awesome cigar bar. I'm from that area, I would actually would love to go check it out. But mainly I wanted to touch on Cohiba Red Dot in particular because of the weight this name carries with that Cuban-esque growing method, the rolling methods, the soil that they use to grow their tobacco. Um, even the newest person that's not a cigar aficionado, if you explain to them where Cohiba comes from, what the background of it is, and kind of talk about that Cuban embargo act everybody knows about, um, Cubans are almost impossible to get in the United States. And the fact that they have brands like this under their umbrella that we can give to people and say, hey, they were grown the same way, they were grown in similar soil, they were rolled similarly, and they carry that name with them, it carries a lot of weight for your customers. Um, the one that I have in my hand in particular is gonna be the Cohiba um, Connecticut Toro Tubo. The reason why I love this cigar so much is because even though it is a Tubo, and when you hear that name, you typically think round. The cigar itself is a Toro, so yes, it is gonna be a round cigar, but it comes in a square tube. It is such an awesome package. Like I said, the cigar is still gonna be round with it being a Toro, but you have this beautiful chrome gold and white packaging. Um, it just gives the cigar a little bit more of a special kind of event atmosphere to it. When you pull it out, people are gonna know it's gonna be a great cigar. And the fact that it's got those Connecticut leaves on it, you do have that balance of a very light, creamy smoke, but also you get those very nice spice undertones. So mainly I wanted to bring them up to you guys today because they offer so many awesome sticks like this, but they're produced all over the world. They're able to export to 62 different countries, including the United States. So they're super well known. They hold those Cuban traditions close to heart and they just produce a great quality smoke. So. If you haven't been sending people this direction in your humidor, I highly recommend you do it. They're one of our best sellers here in Lima and they keep you right close to that Cubanesque cigar that everybody wants.